It's dinning with Jim Jim. It's gonna wet your appetite. Make dinning with Jim Jim. What's on the menu tonight? Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome to Dinning with Jim Jim. I'm your host, Scott Jim Drake, and welcome to Dinning with Jim Jim. It's right on time for dinner. Go ahead and chop your apples in half, and then in half again. And then you're going to want to remove the seeds in the core. And then I'm cutting them into quarter chunks. You can also slice them just so the pieces are manageable in the pan. If you've got a tool to take the core out of the apple, that would be ideal. If not, you can just cut them out like I'm doing. And let's get that one chopped up. And this last one here. Oop. Try not to cut yourself. You're going to want to make sure that your pan is coated with aluminum foil on medium heat. Otherwise, as the apples soften, the juice really makes a mess in your pan. So make sure you've got that aluminum foil down. The serving size for these is about one and a half apples per burrito. I'll be making two burritos today. So let's get these in a pan. This one chopped up. These apples will take about 10 to 15 minutes in the pan until they're ready. You'll know when they're ready, when they're soft, and you can push the spatula right through them without any resistance at all. Go ahead and sprinkle cinnamon on top of your apples. You want to make sure to get enough on there so that they're completely coated. Okay, let's get this apple chopped up quick. You want to make sure to keep the peels on your apples because within the peel you find about two-thirds of the fiber which is crazy I know but it's true it's where a lot of the health benefits from your apple are coming from so make sure to keep those peels on they will soften up considerably once you get the apples cooking Let's go ahead and coat the rest of the apples with cinnamon. Preparing the tortillas is pretty simple. You just take some butter, 
it's much easier if it's room temperature butter because it spreads a little easier. Go ahead and just put some butter on there. And these tortillas, uh, once they're in the oven, they don't take very long. If your oven is preheated on a medium setting, it will take about 3 to 5 minutes. So you want to be sure to keep an eye on these. You want the tortilla to bake to the point of everything on top melting. You don't want them to be crunchy. Once you've got your tortillas buttered, go ahead and sprinkle a little cinnamon on there. And then grab your honey. And you don't want to put too much honey on because as it melts, it spreads out. So go ahead and pop those in the oven. Depending on the size of your oven, you're probably only going to fit one at a time. But that's okay because they don't take very long. So back to your apple mixture. As you can tell, these are getting a bit softer but they do still need some time. Alright, it's quiz time. Which of the following is true? Is it A, apples are a favorite of the ancient Greeks? Is it B, apples are a member of the rose family? Is it C, two thirds of the fiber is found in the peel? Is it D, both A and C? Or is it E, all of the above? Stay tuned for the answer. Now that the first tortilla is in the oven, go ahead and sprinkle cinnamon on the second tortilla. And a bit of honey. You're going to want your tortilla to look like this. You're going to want the honey to be melted and spread out. But you still want the tortilla to be soft and malleable. Not crunchy. And then you're going to grab your apple mixture. Which should be soft and you're going to scoop about half of that into the first tortilla. Now the second tortilla should be in the oven right now, so be sure to not forget about that. And now here's the fun part. You're going to want to fold up the top and the bottom. Like that. And then roll it into a burrito.
If you need to, you can remove some of the excess tortilla to make it roll a bit easier. Also, make sure you serve these hot because once the tortilla cools, it gets a bit crunchy and it's not the same. So these are meant to be served fresh out of the oven. And then you just add a scoop of ice cream and voila, there you have it, your apple pie burritos. So back to that quiz, which of the following is true? The correct answer is E, all of the above. Did you get it? Let me know in the comments below. Hey, that was fun. I had a great time and I hope you did too. Be sure to join me next week and hey, bring a friend. Remember, 